Wildcats! I'm Teresa. And I'm Sarah. To start off, let's head into this week's Sports Corner. Hey Wildcats, welcome back to this week's Sports Corner. I'm Flo. And I'm PK. Let's break down this week's home games. First off, let's congratulate Unified Soccer Seniors on their senior match last week. Today we have football at 5 and 7.30 p.m. and girls volleyball will also have their senior night tonight at 5.30 p.m. Girls Tennis will be hosting a NYL individual tournament here at Sunnyside at 10.30 tomorrow and on Saturday. Lastly, boys and girls water polo will have a game on Tuesday at 3.30 and 4.30 after school. Go support our Wildcat athletes. Now on to Athlete of the Week. Venezia has consistently been our top goal for this season. She exemplifies the true meaning of a student athlete by being a top competitor on the course, an outstanding student in the classroom, and most importantly, exhibits exceptional character in all of that she does. It is an honor to be Venezia's coach. And Girls Volleyball just had their annual volleyball servathon last week. Hi, my name is Angelina Lamb, and I'm the captain of Girls Volleyball, and this is our Servathon Fun. Uh, hey, thank you, sponsors! Hello, we are the JV team, and thank you for all your support. One catch on me, one catch on three! One, two, three, one catch! Hi, sponsors! We are the Sunnyside Girls Volleyball, and this is our Servathon. Coach Duckworth is saving his voice for the season, so I'm making announcements for boys basketball tryouts. Trials are next week, Monday, Tuesday, in the big gym at 3.30. You must have your physical and pink form turned in to try out. You can pick your physical packet in the library. Go Wildcats! Ahora iremos a Herencia Hispana con Irving. Let's find out what Hispanic Heritage Month is about with Irving. Buenos días, Sunnyside. Mi nombre es Irving Gutierrez. Y esta semana para Ask the Wildcats sería un especial reconocimiento a la Herencia Hispana. Eh, vamos a ir a preguntarle a nuestros maestros y a nuestros estudiantes qué significa el mes de la Herencia Hispana para ellos. Vamos. Ah, caray. Eso sí me interesa, ¿eh? Buenos días. ¿Con quién estoy aquí? Con Walter Ramírez. Walter Ramírez, ¿de dónde es usted? Yo soy, primeramente, soy un alumno de aquí de Sunnyside, me gradué en el 2003 y soy salvadoreño. Hola, buenos días, ¿con quién estoy aquí? Uh, Uciel Benjamín Jiménez. Uciel Jiménez, ¿de dónde eres usted? Uh, nací en Culiacán, Sinaloa. Ah, buenos días. Yes. ¿Con quién estoy aquí? Uh, con el maestro Hernández. Maestro Hernández, um, ¿de dónde es usted? Yo soy de origen mexicano. Buenas tardes, ¿y con quién estoy ahorita? Con el señor Álvarez. Señor Álvarez. Se me lengua la traba. Álvarez, ¿de dónde es usted? Yo soy de aquí, pero mis padres son de Nuevo León. ¿Qué hace el hispano único? Pues el hispano único es alguien que, en, en mi opinión, es alguien que puede hablar en inglés, en español. Eh, especial en esta profesión, que soy maestro y hay muchos estudiantes que vienen que apenas están aprendiendo inglés, no saben mucho. Es decir, puedes hablar poquitas palabras en español para que puedan aprender el idioma de aquí en, en Estados Unidos. ¿Para usted qué es el mes de la herencia de hispana? Ah, es una pregunta muy importante. La, para mí el mes de la herencia hispana es un tiempo donde podemos celebrar nuestra herencia, nuestra cultura, nuestras lenguas, no solamente la lengua de español, sino hasta nuestras lenguas indígenas también, donde celebramos quiénes somos, desde Tierra de Fuego hasta México. ¿Qué hace que el hispano sea único? Uh, nuestro mestizaje de diferentes uh, humanos, seres humanos, por ejemplo, la gente, gente indígena, pero también de europea, en, en es, españoles y, uh, mm. y gente indígena. Uh -huh. Para usted, ¿qué significa la herencia hispana? Eh, para mí la herencia hispana significa... Es como un motivo para festejar toda la, la huella positiva que han dejado los, los latinos en Estados Unidos. ¿Qué hace un hispano único? Un, es, un hispano único, pues, que sabemos bailar. Le... ¿Cómo quieres tú? Te quiero cariñito. Sí, de toma, no me por... Para usted, ¿qué es la herencia hispana? La mesa de herencia hispana es celebrando todas las culturas de nuestros países y también toda la bonita historia. ¿A usted le gusta el fútbol? Me encanta el fútbol. ¿Usted qué equipo cree que es mejor, el América o las Chivas? El América, papá. 
americanistas aquí nomás. Explica o las chivas. Esa pregunta hasta me ofende el América, claro. It's time to go. ¿Cuál es tu favorita palabra en español? Carro. ¿Y por qué el carro? Porque me da a todas partes. Porque haces vroom vroom, como peso pluma. Última pregunta, ¿cuál es su favorita palabra en español? Mi palabra favorita es una palabra muy salvadoreña. Es, es puchica. Y puchica es una expresión que significa admiración, como wow, tristeza, enojo. Puede significar muchas cosas, pero la palabra salvadoreña es puchica. Puchica. Uh, está bueno, está bueno. Español. Revolución. Uy, ¿por qué esa es su favorita palabra? Porque tenemos que pelear por nuestros derechos humanos. Oh, qué okay, dulce, muchas gracias por su tiempo. De la verdad, que le me vea. Y la última pregunta es: ¿Cuál es tu favorita palabra en español? Mariposa. Flor. ¿Y por qué? Suena bonito, no sé. Pues sí, se suena bonito. Y ya terminamos. ¿Cuál es tu favorita palabra en español? Mm, tóxica. Eso es todo de mi parte, Wildcats. Regresamos al estudio. I hope you guys had fun at the fair. Let's also congratulate our Flocorico and Agriculture kids for their participation at the fair. Hey Wildcats, if you didn't know, we had five raffle winners for Sunnyside during the 4.0 and above Fresno Fair raffle. Congratulations to Holly Keenan, Kira Tuana, Christian Hernandez Perez, and Yaza Ramirez for winning $3,000 scholarships, as well as Madison Yang for winning free AirPods. The Sunnyside Dance on Tez performed on the October 11th for big crowds at the Center Pavilion at the fairgrounds. The beauty of production seniors were able to see their beautiful performance. We also want to give a huge congratulations to the Agriculture and Mechanics Pathway students for their huge showing at the Fresno Fair this year. They walked away with first place in their division of their custom chicken coop. Over 80 plants were submitted by students in all grade levels, with many of them taking home blue ribbons. Our FFA students show their chickens walking away with hundreds of dollars in their pockets for the sale of their meat birds. Overall, congratulations to all of our students who participated in the fair this year. My Rory outruns your Odyssey. I broke it off cause I'm not settling. I gotta get for the lip on a chip case. For the people that man. Whoa, what's going on? Yo, yeah, what's good, Sunny Side? I'm Diego, I'm your host for Ask the Wildcat. And look where we're at, man. We're at the big, big, and one and only big Fresno Fair. Today's question is What are you enjoying from the Fresno Fair so far? Let's go. Yeah! I'm here with Jessica. Jessica Harrington. And you're looking good, Jessica. Okay. Today's question is What is it? What are you enjoying about the fair so far? First of all, all of the students from Sunnyside High, that's the first thing I'm enjoying. The second thing I'm enjoying is the food. Corn dogs, funnel cakes, pickles, all, Here. all of it. <laughs> and we out. Okay, bye. Hey, I'm here with April. Hey, April and Steve, the best couple out here at the Fresno Fair. Yeah. What are you excited for at the Fresno Fair right now? Uh, we're excited because we're from our fair in Turlock, the yeah. Santa Claus County Fair, and we're getting ideas for to take back to our fair in July. So we're excited about all the new things. And the food. And the food. And the food. And and April and Steve. He's so funny. And we out. We out. We Bye. Out. Bye. Here, I'm here with Betsy. Betsy and Betsy. <laughs> What are you enjoying at the Fresno Fair so far? Um, I really enjoy the rides. Well, right now we just finished performing. Oh, oh I God. saw that. You did a good my job. Oh, come on. Come on. So I just finished performing with my girls, and uh, I enjoyed the rides, and yeah. I like that. And we out. Yeah. We out. <laughs> now let's head into Counselor Corner.
Hey, Wildcats, it's another edition of the Counseling Corner. It's Mr. Medina, Counselor Kicks, and right here we have Miss Cooper. Hmm. Why are you so tired? Oh! Usually you bring the energy. What's sorry, the sorry, I am exhausted. Last week, you can't even imagine how many college applications we were working on. It was a lot. It was a ton. Yeah. Seniors, if you have not completed your Fresno State CSU application, this week we're going to be starting on the UC applications. If you qualified and you have not yet completed your application, you need to come to the library and get tired with us. Be there. From all that typing. Because mm -hmm. I heard that there was a ton of, you, of CSU applications done. That's right. I mean, look at all these look, guys. Look, all of these kids, all of these students right here applied. And that's not even half of them. We had a ton. So all this rest of this month, we will be helping you apply to college. CSU, UC, Fresno City College. All of them. You need to get it done by the end of this month. Enough of the senior info. <sighs> guys, have you heard? You late to school? You're getting lunch detention! That's right! You get detention, you get detention, you get hey, detention! Hey, hey. Oh. More about the policy. Sorry. Hey, we just want to encourage you to be on time, guys! School starts at 8.30. You need to be in your classes by 8.30. Also, that means being on time to second period, third period, fourth period, fifth period, sixth period, all the periods! Even seventh period. Even seventh period. So, just remember, if you are late, even once, you will be assigned lunch detention in the big gym. So, you don't want to have to go to lunch detention. So, just come to your class on time. It's that simple. Get there on time. Because if you're late or if you're absent, you may fall behind in your classes. And guess what? We don't want that. The semester's coming to an end. Those are permanent grades. Mm. The quarter ended. But that means you can keep working to the semester. Those are the permanent grades. And once again, right here is the tutoring opportunities that we have on campus. So make sure you talk to your teachers first, number one resource, and then get into tutoring if you're still not understanding something. Plenty of help here at Sunnyside High School. Ain't that right, Ms. Cooper? Real right. Cooper. Peace out. Medina, out. Are you interested in the play coming up? Well, Mamma Mia is around the corner. Mamma Mia is a coming of age musical that takes place in Greece that features our main character, Donna. So we're doing the Mamma Mia play. I uh, do Donna, which is one of the few leads. When Harrison told us that Donna, my character, gets last bow, this was before auditions, I believe, and I was super surprised. I was kind of scared. I was like, oh, the character I want is lead and gets last bow, so that's a lot. And so I honestly thought I was going to get backstage. I'm not very confident in my singing, but turns out I um, am seen as a good singer. And so when I saw my name next to Donna's, the first thing that came to mind was, oh gosh, I get last bow. And then it hit me, I'm like, oh gosh, I have 13 songs. So honestly, I went straight home. I looked up all her songs, I looked up all the lyrics, and I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm nervous, as always, because you're on stage, but I, I have a lot of fun doing it. I watched clips of the movie over summer, and I really, really liked her opening number, Money, Money, Money. Her voice matches my voice well, so singing her wouldn't be too difficult, but I've come to find out that uh, that's, not the, that's not the case. And I'm glad I was honestly picked for her. I'm glad to be up there on the stage in front of everyone and singing all her songs, all 11 to 13 of her songs. <laughs>
in the cast so you get to meet new people you get to reconnect with old friends and you get to build stronger relationships with everyone it's super fun there's a lot of singing there's a lot of dancing there's a lot of acting uh, I like the set the sets big the sets fun it's bright um, and some of the songs uh, we get to connect with the characters um, because you're singing and you're acting and you're getting to be this person and you get to understand this person a lot more and it's just a lot of fun. I really like it and I like connecting with everyone and just having fun in general. And it's not very, well it is hard, you have to be responsible for your role and what you do and how you do it, but everyone's there to help you along the way, but I don't know, that's Mamma Mia. <laughs> Oh, so like you're the main character, right? Like you're one of them. So like, why did you want to be the main character? Like, why the Action you... number, money, money, money. Um, uh, and her voice matches my voice well, so singing her wouldn't be too difficult. But I've come to find out that uh, that's not the that's not the case. Um, I, w I thought she was gonna be a side character, and so I was like, oh, I'm gonna be the main's mom. Um, but no, I found out that she is the lead. Um, and I'm glad I was honestly picked for her. I'm glad to be up there on the stage in front of everyone and um, singing all her songs, all 11 to 13 of her songs. <laughs> Jesus. How did you, you feel when you got the role? Were you excited? Like, were you hyped? Oh gosh, so when Harrison told us that Donna, my character, gets last bow, uh, this was before auditions, I believe. Um, and I was super surprised. I was kind of scared. I was like, oh, the character I want is lead and gets last bow, so that's a lot. And so I honestly thought I was going to get backstage. I'm not very confident in my singing, but turns out I um, am seen as a good singer. And so when I saw my name next to Donna's, I, the first thing that came to mind was, oh gosh, I get last bow. And then it hit me, I'm like, oh gosh, I have 13 songs. Um, so honestly, I went straight home and I was, I, was, I was excited. I was a little nervous and I looked up all her songs. I looked up all the lyrics and I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm nervous as always because you're on stage, but I, I have a lot of fun doing it. But yeah. Anything else you want to add? Like about the play? Come see it. Come watch us. We're doing a lot. We're having fun. Now come watch us because we put all this work into it. And we. <laughs> but yeah, but that's basically it. Yearbooks, yearbooks. Let's not forget about yearbooks. Yearbooks are still on sale for $85. If you guys want to buy a yearbook, then go to the main office to pay in cash, check, or card, or go to Mr. Vang's room in S113 to pay in cash only. Now let's head into Tell Me Something Good. Tell me something good. Tell me something good. Uh, I went to the Fresno State volleyball game on Saturday and I hanged out with my friends and we had a good time. That sounds nice. Something good is that I'm passing all my classes. Woo, senior year. Oh, shoot, that's good. Good for you. <laughs> you gonna keep it up? Um, yes, I have to. I have too much pride. That's good. Uh, I, went, I went to the fair. How was it? It was alright. I went to the fair too. So how was how was your experience? Uh, it was it was chill. It was cool. It was cool. I also went to the fair. It was pretty chill. <laughs> I got to hang out with friends, eat pretty good food, and went on the rides. All right, yeah, the fair. Okay, nice. Thank you. And here we have our one and only Principal Anderson. Tell me something good. Oh my gosh, there's so many great things happening. This week we're celebrating all of our seniors with all of our fall sports. We've got tennis on Tuesday, which I think that one just passed. And then we've got Thursday, we've got volleyball. We're gonna celebrate them. And then Friday's our football. Uh, football uh, game there we're gonna celebrate all the seniors next week we're gonna celebrate all of the teams in our fall sports rally so we're gonna have some more dress-up days and oh my goodness the Sadie Hawkins dance is coming and it's gonna be at the John's Incredible Pizza again all you can eat and lots of fun dancing just Better for this sure to come. yes <laughs> show up I'll be there now let's not forget Sadie Hawkins is around the corner 
Hey Wildcats, as you may know, Sadie Hawkins dance is coming up, and you may be wondering, what is Sadie Hawkins? Sadie Hawkins is a school dance where the girl asks the guy instead of the guy asking the girl. And now a history lesson on Sadie Hawkins. Sadie Hawkins is an actual person, but based on a popular comic strip from 1937, and soon became popular in college campuses, and is now known as a popular holiday. You should come to our very own Sadie Hawkins dance on Saturday, November 4th at John C. Credible's Pizza. And remember, our theme is anything Disney. If you're not up to dressing up to the theme, you can come matching with your own friends. And tickets start selling from Monday to November 3rd. Tickets are $35 and will be sold at the quad. The tickets include endless buffet, endless drinks, reserved dining area with 60 credits, and even three rides of your choice, and even a private room with a DJ. No, for a guest pass, for your friend outside of Sunnyside, please go to Mrs. Jahava in South 150 or Mrs. Alvo's in South 147 by this week. And remember, go with your friends and have fun. You don't want to miss this dance. See you there, Wildcats! Attention all freshmen, would you like to have a mentor for this year? If so, the California Scholarship Federation is beginning a new mentor mentee program. The mentors are CSF Honor Students volunteering to help freshmen become familiar with Sunnyside's policies, programs, and traditions while developing a positive relationship with their assigned mentee. Scan this QR code and complete the short application if you are interested in becoming a mentee. CSF will have a meeting next Tuesday, so stop by if you are interested. If you have any questions, contact the club advisor, Dr. Gonzalez, or the community service manager, Karamia Chang. That's it for this week's broadcast. Go Wildcats!